All right, so here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Ken Fine of the Wayne Week has decided to respond to Mayor Pro Tim of Goldsboro, Brandy Matthews, and her what he called public tirade in response to his article that leaked her name as a city official that received a water credit. Now, in this article, Mr. Fine, he doubles down on his uh, information, on his research, and indeed uh, stands by his reporting of what he still considers facts. Now, I'm going to read you some of the article, and I'm going to provide my commentary, just a little backdrop. Um, the Wayne Week published an article uh, about Ms. Matthews and other city officials that received preferential treatment uh, in the form of water credits. Uh, in response to that, I did a video, and Miss Matthews, uh, she did a four-part Facebook series uh, referring to me, Ken Fine, his associate. And, uh, you know, she did also make a speech at last week's city council meeting, you know, on the 12th. Okay, excuse me, let me change my date here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Today is the 20th. All right, so... Here's what Mr. Fine said in the article, and I'm going to read this, you know, and then I'm going to provide commentary periodically so you can get an understanding of what I think Mr. Fine is saying. Now, he says, we should be using this space, and the, and the title of the article is called Missed Signals, and he writes, we should be using this space to talk about the most important issues facing this community. The recent announcement of major changes at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, how it happened, and what we are going to do about it. And we will, because that is what an organization that has the best interests of the community at heart does. But before we do, we have to waste a little time. And that's because Goldsboro new mayor decided that instead of shutting down what can only be described as a temper tantrum by a city council member, specifically Mayor Pro Tem Brandy Matthews, he instead reinforced it and used it to scold city employees and his fellow council members and by proxy, Wayne Week about the damage caused by the leaks that outdated the that outed the findings of the state's preliminary audit. Now what he's talking about is the audit that named, you know, certain officials and, you know, their receiving of credits. And that information was leaked from a closed session. A closed session is when the city council members and a few other city administration get in a meeting and they talk about these things. Evidently at that meeting, Ms. Matthews, uh, Councilman, Will, uh, Commissioner Williams and some other people's name were released as people who have received water credits over the years. Now, he goes on to state, talking about the new mayor, Gaylor. He says, so he let her self-righteously call out fake news about her water bill and infer once again that she faces an uphill battle and undue criticism because of her race and sex. Now, I also referred to uh, the propensity of Miss Matthews to do that on occasion. Um, you know, I've seen that happen a lot, you know, when there's, uh, I guess, criticism or disagreements or, you know, pushback to you know, something uh, of her opinion or something that uh, she champions. I'm going to continue reading. Fine says, the problem is Matthews knows, as does every single council member who was in that room, including the mayor, that what we printed was not only carefully researched and backed up by numerous sources, but was absolutely true. Matthew's characterization of what we reported was not accurate and her accusations and threats online ordering us to stop speaking, writing, or mentioning her in any capacity were irresponsible and libelous. 
Now he's referring to once again Miss Matthews' Facebook post, uh, you know, which pretty much you know ordered Ken Fine and the Wayne Week and even myself to um, stop speaking about her and once again apologize and things of that nature. Now he continues to write. By the way, for the record, Matthews did get a water credit. Two of them actually. She admitted it publicly at the city council meeting. Now, she did admit to getting water credits. Those water credits, she affirms, were before her time as city council member. Now, once again, I have to once again apologize because from my interpretation of the audit in the article, I assumed that she got them while she was in office. So once again, I apologize for uh, making that assumption or, you know, taking the information in a manner uh, that was incorrect. So I'm not above that. And he reads, perhaps she should reread our story. That is, that is literally all we said, that the city finance director named her as an elected official State auditors said received a utility bill adjustment. And if it was innocent, which we have no reason to think it wasn't, she could have said so. We gave her that opportunity. Now, Mr. Fine is referring to his attempts uh, to reach Ms. Matthews for comment uh, before the article was made public. However, as you will further uh, hear or read, uh, I guess that opportunity was denied. He further writes, she could have said that she was stunned her name was even mentioned by finance director Catherine Wynn. She could have presented the water bills she waved around at Monday's city council meeting as proof of her claim, and he has proof in quotation marks, as proof of her claim that she did not get a credit while she was sitting council member and trusted us, meaning the paper, you know, the newspaper that endorsed her a few months ago to present her side of the story. And she could have raised the question that so many people want to ask, why was there no policy in place to monitor water credits and why were there so many? The council has since approved a whole new set of rules to prevent such a question from arising again, by the way. Now, what he's talking about is in that same meeting uh, in which I apologized and uh, Ms. Matthews went on what Mr. Fine characterizes as a tirade or temper tantrum. That same meeting, the, the city did admit that in the past there was no policy on allowing people to get water credits. There was nothing in place, so, you know, there was no standards, you know, so pretty much anybody at any time could possibly be eligible for a water credit. So he said at that meeting, they did, they, uh, they did put a policy in place to prevent, once again, something like this happening again. Now, he also writes about Miss Matthews. She could have also asked why there was so much lost revenue while city leaders were claiming that the system might soon need an infusion of money for necessary upgrades. Now, he's talking about, once again, a couple of years back where the city uh, increased uh, taxes or, or, or the amount on the water bill to fund certain infrastructure projects that needed to be done. He also says, Matthews instead ignored our request for comment for more than three days, meaning he tried to reach out to her and get her side of the story. And, you know, to be honest, um, that is one of the uh, issues that both her and uh, Councilman Williams, excuse me, Commissioner Williams, had when I did the article, they said that I should have reached out to them first. Now, I didn't, and, you know, we see uh, the repercussions of that. However, he continues to write, and then when she found out her name was published, she threw a fit, a loud one. He says, we can handle it, of course, and we almost ignored it completely, 
But we decided that she and County Commissioner Antonio Williams, who also misrepresented our reporting in a public tirade, should not be allowed to get away with yet another distraction just because no one is brave enough to confront them. Now, what he's talking about, once again, is County Commissioner Williams, who also at a public county commission meeting addressed Fine's article as well as my YouTube post and, um, you know, interrupted the meeting to address those, uh, as Ken Fine calls it, facts or accusations that were uh, found in the state audit. And then he concludes by saying, bottom line, we stand by our reporting. Every single member of the city council who sat there and allowed Matthews to cry fake news heard Gwen name her and Williams in the closed session. Once again, he's referring to the closed session that uh, the information that got leaked from, you know, somebody in that closed session uh, to allow found to, act, to, to, to begin to find, to begin to research this information. So we asked, so why didn't they push back? Well, there are some, some who seem to be afraid of Matthews, Williams, and other disruptors. They think that by placating them will ensure, they think that placating them will ensure that the ship runs smoothly in quotation marks and public embarrassments like the one that unfolded at both the Board of Commissioners and City Council meetings might be avoided if they play nice. Now, initially, I kind of thought that maybe that was a shot at me, but I don't think so now because in in layman's terms, I play nice when, you know, the, 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 the mentionings of my YouTube videos at the city council members uh, meeting and on Facebook, instead of, you know, going left and attacking their character and attacking their path past like you know i wanted to do i decided to as ken fine uh, puts it play nice i apologize for the article that, that that i read that hurt them and because i am anybody knows me that i am a peacemaker i am a peacemaker but there's also another side when, when confronted, I can either go really bad, really mean, really ugly, or I can be really nice, really compassionate, really loving. There's no in-between ground with me. We have a problem. It's either going for the jugular or I'm going to try to make that problem right. Now, in this instance, once again, I try to make the problem right. And as... I made another video about, you know, my attempts to uh, end the situation. That did not end. Uh, the, the people, quote unquote, did not play nice. I was, you know, it was almost like I was asked to wash their feet in public or something. You know what I mean? So that's why, you know, I made the video of why you should never apologize when you basically done nothing wrong. But... Shout out to Ken Fine for standing by, you know, his article and as he as he put it, not backing down. So in regards to the people who think that placating them will ensure that they will play nice, he says, we are not among them. He says, we have sat by long enough watching the city and county get mired in constant... drama and unprofessional behavior watching others turn their cheek rather than call the fenders out and once again you know first reading the article i was like okay well you know i turned my cheek you know and you know my cheek got smacked again but nevertheless here we go there is more time there is no more time for that and anyone who can't see that should be removed from office immediately as we mentioned before, there is very important stuff to do right now that could affect the future of this community. 
This is a time for focus and strength from not only the leaders who raise their hands to take on the task of directing the future of this community, but from the residents who have worked so hard to build this county. This community is strong enough to make the changes that are becoming glaringly necessary and no one should be allowed to distract from that mission, no matter how much drama they cause. And in case you're wondering, we will indeed be reporting on Matthews and anyone else who has taken an oath to serve Goldsboro or Wayne County. We will call out what they do well, and we will not hesitate to point out when they do not live up to the promises they made to voters. We will cover her and Williams just like we would any other politician, any other public official. She has no right to order us to do anything. Now, once again, there is a consensus of that narrative because when you are a public official, you are held to a higher level of scrutiny, whether that scrutiny is good or bad. And of the many people that I have did articles about or, you know, brought to light some maybe possible indiscretion, neither of those, and a lot of them are very public and prominent figures, no one has ever responded in this manner. And, you know, I think that is a testament to their level of, okay, well, if it don't fly, I mean, if it don't apply, let it fly. Or, you know, allowing things to kind of roll off their back because there is indeed more important things uh, to address than that. Now, um, he, he also stated, Matthew's choice is whether or not she responds to our request for comment. We will move forward with our work either way. And once again, that's a lot, what a lot of people, you know, ask me, well, why didn't you, you know, contact this person or that person be, before you did an article or did a video? If I was to try to do that and get everybody's side of the story before I do a video, I would never do a video. But, um, so that's that. Um, he says, but rest assured, we will continue to ask the questions of anyone whose salaries are paid by the hardworking members of this community who can't use a city credit card to take a trip across the country. And once again, I think that is a shot to uh, Commissioner Williams. Uh, we have to hold our community leaders accountable. Otherwise, we get more dysfunction and unpleasant surprises. We take our role as the voice of this community very seriously. And we will not be bullied or threatened by anyone. So yes, Matthews and Williams can say whatever they please. They are entitled to their opinions. That is how this works. But they are not free from the consequences of throwing around defamatory accusations and misrepresentations on, misrepresentations on Facebook or on accounts that have ties to public entities like the city council or county commissioners. Not acceptable, not even close. And no, we won't tolerate it. And that means we will do whatever we have to do to protect the reputations built over our team's collective 50 plus years in this business. Excel, enough, really enough. We have an important conversation to have and that is a clarion call for this community and its leaders to get to work. When the going gets tough, this community gets going. And he then gets into um, a lot of issues that need to be addressed about issues concerning the Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. Now, why did I do this video? Because I felt, you know, as I've covered this story that, you know, it was only right for uh, me to re read uh, Ken Fine's response and his basic doubling down of his journalistic uh, abilities and also his journalistic professionalism. Uh, and I, you know, I commend him for doing that. And, you know, I think he may be even a little bit perturbed or perturbed, how do you say that word? He might be a little perturbed at me for, you know, 
making my apologies in an attempt to kind of make peace with individuals that I've had relationships with in the past. So um, he, once again, stood by it because, once again, his job is to make narratives and basically, once again, sell papers by printing information that people feel that is relevant. So uh, that is his ultimate goal. And once again, I, I, I commend him for responding in this manner. Now, as far as, you know, the, the things that were said about him and me, um, people have even came to me and said, hey, yeah, you can actually, you know, sue the county or, you know, sue the city because, you know, they're, they're up there as public officials, you know, defaming my character, you know, defaming, you know, bringing up things that, you know, are not relevant to the conversation. But me, you know, I have, you know, I, I have a lot of irons in the fight. So I'm more focused on, you know, doing something, you know, more productive, you know, with my time and energy. However, you know, this is uh, my YouTube channel as well. So, uh, of course, the goal of most YouTubers is, once again, to get more views, to build your platform. So, you know, I will not stop reporting on, you know, situations like this when they come to light. Like I said, I, you know, I might... I might name this podcast unapologetic because once again, I have to, um, you know, I, 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 and honestly, I do regret, uh, making that, uh, once again, apology because, you know, as Mr. Fine said, you know, he presented information. I read the information. Basically I've done nothing wrong. Nevertheless, since someone was, uh, someone was offended, I did so. And this is the reason why, you know, I was raised, you know, by my father who, you know, taught me to live, you know, peacefully with all men. I watched him, you know, be disrespected, defamed, treated wrong by many people. And I'm like, dad, you ain't going to go back at him. He's like, nah, I'm going to let God handle it. Right. So. That is, you know, one reason, once again, that, that I took that approach because, once again, I, 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 I seen, you know, how my father lived. So, but please make no mistake about it. You know, I was not bullied. I was not threatened. I didn't do it because I was afraid of anybody. I think anybody who knows me knows that's not why, you know, I offer uh, the apology. And funny thing happened yesterday a, a, a lady came up to me and she gave me something to give to some of the kids I work with and she said yeah I tried to you know I tried to I wanted to call you last week but you know you had such a, a tough week last week and you know I didn't want to bother you I'm like what are you talking about I, I didn't have a tough week you know um and 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 that and I had to tell her I was like I was fine you know, people were calling on me and checking on me. Are you all right? Why are they messing with you for? You did nothing wrong. And this, and I'm like, I'm, I'm I'm cool. Like people made it, I guess, a big deal, in my opinion. You know, towards me. So I guess I had to make it a big deal and feel some type of way. And maybe I should make this right. You know, but nevertheless, like somebody talking about me on Facebook is the least of my worries. Like I said, I can go to like down the line. I've been shot on two separate occasions. I had five hour brain surgery. That's why my edge up is messed up, Yante. You always talk about my edge up. I had a brain surgery right there. I've been falsely accused of rape, kidnapping, abduction. I've been stabbed. I've been, you know, I had a stroke. I'd be cut on my neck. So all of these things, this Facebook, you know, somebody talking about me on Facebook is not a threat. Uh, to me or my reputation because once again people who know me know me but I just had to uh, revisit this story because you know I, I, I came across this Wayne Week article and you know what uh, you know I, I, I pray that my man can find because I know he's you know I, I know he's like oh man Richard why did you apologize but you know I suggest and everybody you know go make a subscription to Wayne Week a lot of people have reached out to me and um, asked me, how do I get this paper? And I, you know, I, I referred a lot of people, you know, to the to the website and the link. And you know, I may put the link in the comments, or you can go to uh, the New Old North 
uh, com, I think, and, and go to their site, and they have a way that you can, <laughs> excuse me, they have a way that you can, you know, get this paper, but I'll, I'll continue, you know, to be using this paper, uh, you know, because it is good in, informative information that a lot of times the mainstream media is not reporting on, so once again, I, I, I take my hat off, my proverbial hat off, the Tim Fine, I mean the Kim Fine, because you know he does bring things to light that a lot of people are not willing to address, and also they are not willing to you know discuss these hard and arduous issues. So uh, once again, nine one nine five eight seven 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 eight two. Any you know any information or anything that I've said in this article that was not correct, you know I'm not above correction. So. Um, you can get get with me. Y'all have a great day. There's some other articles in this paper uh, that I'm that 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 seem interesting enough to do uh, the uh, do some information on. So uh, shout out to Ken Fine, the new old dwarf. Shout out to the Goldsboro City leaders, the community, everybody out here who's trying to make Goldsboro a better place. Um, peace and blessings.